Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Reddy from Reddy's Rides. I'm at the 2019 New York Auto Show, and then of course, we're gonna stop by the Hyundai booth because this is really the star of the show. This is the 2020 Sonata. Think about it. We're in an industry where SUVs keep growing, growing, and growing. All these SUVs are coming all over the place, and here is Hyundai sticking with their midsize sedan, the Sonata. Let me give you a little history about Hyundai. Hyundai's been around since 1987. They started off selling one car, the Excel. You could either get it in a hatchback or you can get it in a sedan. In 1989 is when they actually first introduced the Sonata. So the Sonata has actually been in their lineup for a very long time. And really, Honda has now built up that lineup to have the Santa Fe, the Tucson, the Kona. We got the new venue over there, which we're going to be bringing to you here on Radies Rides. But really, like I said, this is the darling of the show because the Sonata is here, third generation, and there's some great styling going on. So let's take a look at this 2020 Sonata. Right off the bat, you'll notice that they've gone full bore let's do something different. With the grill, they've actually widened it, opened it up, and almost gives it an Aston Martin look to it. Believe it or not, I know that may sound crazy, and I know you may zonk me for saying that, but it really does, especially from the side quarter, really looks Aston Martin. Here's the big talk of the town. Check out those DRLs, they're called hidden lighting lamps. The DRLs LED lit actually form at the bottom of the housing and then actually go up onto the fender next to the hood and blend into the chrome trim. That is what's so amazing about this design is they've done something nobody else has done. And I promise you at night, this thing coming at you, you're gonna know it's a Sonata, the all new Sonata. Lots of gloss black. Some people love it, some people hate it. I'm personally gonna zonk it because it's a little too much and it's gonna be interesting to see how it wears. But from the look standpoint, sitting under the showroom uh, lights here at the uh, New York Auto Show, it looks really good. Now, if you look to the side here, you do have some functional uh, air cones. That's gonna channel the air that hits the front of the car down the side. The rest of this though is all fake vents. So I am gonna zonk lots of fake vents. They could have just made this beautiful and just left well enough alone. Love the headlight housing though, LED lighting. And then if you notice, as we come up onto the hood, I really like this body line that starts at the front and then goes very so subtly into the back, gives it a nice raised portion. And that just helps with the overall amazing look of this car. Let's go ahead and peek around the side here. So as we come to the side of the car, there is what I'm talking about, the hidden lighting lamps. Go all the way into the chrome trim. So you're looking from the front to about here's where it fades out, goes into the trim, down the rest of the car. Very unique, very awesome. As we go into the fender, I like the addition of these little extra touches to help channel air, but also give it some personality. If this was not there, it would look a little bland. So it's nice to see that. And I also like the way they brought that lip spoiler from one corner of the front bumper all the way to that other side. As we slide down the side here, 19 inch wheel, uh, you have brushed aluminum, you have some gunmetal gray, nice setup. Even the center cap, this thing, the way that it's beveled around the edge here, it almost looks like a, a center locking cap from like a portion or something like that. Now you do have traditional lug nuts, but it's just those style features that really are, work really well on the Sonata. Now we, we go into the side, check out the body lines. You have a nice line here in the fender, but also up top here. Really goes well down to the mirror. I like the way that they brought more red, a little bit more of the gloss black, that LED lighting up onto the roof here. You can see that chrome trim goes all the way around the windows, all the way to the back. I like the way they brought a little bit of chrome trim to the door handles. And then check out the side sills here. Very, very aggressive for a sedan, especially a Sonata. Something totally different, lots of body lines. It almost looks busy, but if you just look at it one piece at a time, it all works in a nice cohesive package. As we go down the side of the car, you can see how the roof comes back. Now you may look at this and say, oh, it's like the Kia Stinger. It's like the Audi A5 Sportback. This is a hatchback. No, this has a traditional trunk back here. It's really cool how they got that style to work. Very, very sharp, aggressive lines on the rear fender into this taillight housing. And you can see how they brought more of that gloss black from the front to the rear fascia of the bumper area. And then I love the taillight design. This is something that's really gonna make this stand out at night, just not only from the front, 
but also the back, it does look Honda Civic-ish. The corners here, but what really separates it is this LED lighting that goes all the way across the trunk. You have the Sonata badge here. And here's a very interesting talking point. So we showed like the, the side air curtains up front. You have some vortex generators, believe it or not, on the top of the taillight housings on both sides. So obviously they've done their homework with aerodynamic testing. A Little bit of a kick up spoiler on the trunk. And then when we drop down, one area that I am gonna zonk is that they just have one exhaust outlet. Now it is split into two. I just wish that they had that on both sides, not just one side. Now obviously there's gonna to be tons of different trim levels that come, engine options and whatnot, but I just wish that they had that design on both sides. But overall, a great look to this. Let's go ahead and check out underneath the hood of the all new 2020 Sonata. All right, guys, here we are. We have the hood popped on the 2020 Sonata. That's an inline four turbocharged engine. So that's gonna help balance and give you some power, but also give you some good MPGs. This one is mated to an eight speed automatic transmission. What I do like when I pop the hood is there's not a bunch of just plastic covers all over the place, which is very nice to see because that seems to be the style of the day. Also the hood struts. That's another thing that you would think in the 21st century, most cars would have it. You'd be surprised. And with a car with a hood this size, it is nice to see. But this is what, like I said, is gonna help give that great drivability. Now the overall car, believe it or not, has been lengthened. The wheelbase has been lengthened, but what's interesting is the height has actually been brought down. So in addition to what's powering it, what's gonna help increase that driving pleasure is how the car is proportioned. And we brought down that center of gravity by having the roof line a little bit lower. But let's go ahead and see where we're gonna be sitting while we're piloting this new Sonata. All right, guys, here we are sitting in the all new 2020 Sonata. Now I do need to apologize. We are at the New York Auto Show. I know it's a little dark. What I try to do is turn on all the interior lights and guess what? I'm gonna have to zonk it because the interior lights, none of them are LED lights. So they're bright, but they could be brighter with some nice white LED lighting. This car, the Sonata is gonna start in the low 20s. And then obviously, depending on how many boxes you check off, that's gonna increase the price. Let's see what you get. On the door panels, there is a lot of dark black. Now the good news is, is that at the top, it's a softer material. The bad news is, is just like many of the other Hyundai products, they need to bring some color onto the doors. As we go from the door to the dash, very nice soft material. Even on the lower portion, right above the glove box, I love the very slim AC vents. They look great, silver trim. The one thing I'm not really digging is the dual climate. Now it's nice that there's dual climate AC, that's awesome but I don't like the buttons and switches. This feels very 1980s Casio-ish, if you get what I'm talking about, but it is dual climate. Push button start with a nice uh, aluminum button, and then check out the, si the size of this cubby area for your uh, phone and whatnot. You have wireless charging, USB, two of them. You got an auxiliary jack, 12 volt, and then here's the other big talking point no more shifter to shift that transmission. So this is an automatic, eight-speed automatic. You press the buttons. Now, there is a lot of gloss black, and I know how a lot of you, unless you're the FBI or the CIA, you like fingerprints, you're not gonna like this because there's a lot of fingerprints. My advice is really be very decisive with what you're gonna press. If you're going into reverse, make sure you aim right for that R because if you're off a little, you're doing fingerprints. You don't want to do that because I know that gets you frustrated. We have different camera views. Remember, there's a front camera and rear camera and 360 camera, different drive modes with this little selector button here. And then, of course, you're going to have an electric e-brake uh, instead of the good old-fashioned manual one. Two cup holders and then a pretty good padded armrest. You open it up. It's got plenty of space, just no connectivity. All your connectivity comes from the beginning at the start of the dash. We have a light color to the headliner, which is nice. It brightens it up a little bit. And then the seats, nice material. I like the perforated. I like the way that the bottoms are long to really hug and nestle your hamstrings, especially if you're taller. They are heated and they are ventilated. One thing I forgot to mention is on this infotainment screen, that's 10.25 inches. That's 10 and a quarter. Very similar to the Kia Telluride system that we did. If you haven't seen that video, watch my Kia Telluride video because I'm telling you, this infotainment is amazing. You could split it up. You could do it. Watch it 10 different ways from Sunday. You can even watch your favorite movie on it. Well, I don't know about that, but it looks damn good. 
come on over to the driver's side and we'll see what's going on in the business end. And obviously you're gonna get full electric assist on the seat. You have the Sonata badge down here, nice aluminum trim piece down here. It's nice to have things like this, but let's show the door panel again. There's what I was telling you about. You have a little bit of silver, but everything else is black on this thing. I don't know if you've seen the latest Mazda 3. I did do a review at Furman Mazda. Definitely watch that review. They put beautiful aluminum speaker covers. This thing would go a long way with just a little bit of that fancy touch to it. Steering wheel. I'm zonking it. Why am I zonking it? It's ugly. I just, this extra design piece here it reminds me of the Genesis G90 that I recently did. If you haven't seen that review, make sure you watch that one. If you haven't seen any of these reviews, you got a lot of homework to do. And I appreciate you doing that and getting back to me on how you feel about those videos. But the size is good. I like the 10 and 2 grips. I just don't like this extra piece here. And the horn button is kind of a little weird shape. But other than that, not so bad. It's going to turn your wheels for you. So that's about it. You have some uh, paddles behind the steering wheel to help you go up and down that gearbox. And I guess the other big thing for me in this car, besides the 10 and a quarter inch screen, you got a 12 inch LED digital display. Obviously it's gonna show your tack, it's gonna show your speedometer, and it's gonna show you a plethora of information in that centerpiece. Very smart that they went with a light head uh, liner. And you can see six feet tall, plenty of room. Speaking of room, let's go see where the heck your passengers are going to be sitting and are they going to be crying on a long trip. Let's go check it out. Actually pretty spacious in here. I like how I'm sitting. The seat is angled back. You have uh, two AC vents and a USB. I wish there was more than one because we got two seats. You could even sit somebody in the center. We should have two USBs back here. But surprisingly, even with the sloping roof, there's still plenty of room for your head back here. And let's check out the armrest. Very nice padded armrest, two cup holders. You know, the, my biggest zonk back here, this hard plastic. Why do they put this here? This is leather. I wanna get my money's worth. Wrap the whole thing in leather, please. The plastic, I know that people with kids love it, but I don't, so I wanna see that change. Speaking of things though, let's go ahead and check out the trunk. All right guys, probably the most important part of this car being a car and not an SUV is what can we put in the trunk? Now, what I like about the Hyundai products is that they actually integrate the trunk button right above the H on the emblem. So you press that, up goes the trunk. I'm very happy to see that it's very wide and very spacious. Now, I know it's dark and like I said, we are at the auto show, we are doing our best, but you can see that those seats can fold down. There's a pass through and really give you a lot of space. But at the end of the day, we have to wait until they get their cars at Hyundai Newport Ritchie and Fitzgerald's Hyundai, and we're going to do a full review. But if you're ready, I'm ready to wrap this one up. Let's do it. All right, guys. It's been a wonderful day here at the 2019 New York Auto Show. Really exciting news coming from Hyundai with the 2020 Sonata. If these are the types of things you like to see on Ready's Rides, leave a comment in that comment section. If you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you. Thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. Check out all my different forms of social media. You know what they are. It's all Radies Rides original content all the time. If you want to get yourself some merch, click that link in the description. It takes you right to Spreadshirt. And I got to give it up to Lori working the camera like a champ. We've been having some technical difficulties here with interference and being at the auto show. But you know what? She's been mindful. She's been enlightened and she's really helped out. So thank you, Lori, for all your hard work. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.